Hi, this is Dave Aquino with MicroQuant, and this is the free video for Monday, May 12th, 2014. We are looking at Apple today. Apple's having a very nice bounce in the markets, uh, as well as the NASDAQ. Now, Apple going back to the end of uh, April, we see the results of a really good earnings report. We gap up nicely uh, right around the 560 level, and for the next nine trading days, we actually move higher and push above this previous 600 level resistance. Uh, here on uh, on May 6th, we make a new year high at 604.41. And then for the last three days going into the end of last week, we pull back and then we close in a bullish, uh, bullish doji. And uh, the fact is we actually move above the eight period moving average today. Now why this is significant is that downside momentum is starting to fade and uh, what I actually foresee and I'm watching for is for Apple to actually come up and retest the 600 level again over the next two to three trading days. If I see that I will come down and evaluate momentum but there's a very strong likelihood that what we will get is a nearly equally high high or at least to a moderately overvalued level and then we will watch for a potential bearish divergence. If that occurs, I'll look to go short Apple.